I like beer cause it is good. I drink beer because I should. If there was a song to sing, I sing it and beer you drink. I drink beer when I am sad, cause the beer it makes me glad. Now there's nothing left to say, so let's go drink beer. Beer is good! Beer is good! Beer is good! And song! Alright, here we are. We are back again. Back again, Liquid Measures. Got Dave BV sitting in with us yet again at the market once again, and this we time we have Sprecher. 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 Wann Sie auf Deutsch sagen, es ist Sprecher, ja. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Sprecher. I don't think that came from Milwaukee. No, I didn't. No, that that came from that came from my trip to Germany. <laughs> Thank you, U.S. Air Force. Anyway, <laughs> we have a true German Schwarz beer. We do. He didn't say Schwarz beer. He didn't say Schwarz <laughs> I didn't say beer. Farts beer. I yeah. said Schwarz beer, which black beer. Schwarz is is black and Auf it Deutsch. Yeah. Auf Deutsch. It is. So, this is a lager. That's a dark lager. Very, Very dark, dark lager. Talk to us, Dave. Well, you know, Sprecher. A lot of folks in this area that are familiar with them uh, are because of their their specialty sodas, cream soda, orange dream soda, their ginger ales been around for a long time they do a few beers this one in particular is just it's outstanding uh, it mimics everything that we all like about a stout ale yet it drinks like a lager you know which typically is really smooth um, there's it's just layers of, of aromas and flavors it's complex uh, our good buddy at uh, Calf Killer Brewing Company Dave Sergio one of his favorite beers that's you know that's all I need to know. But uh, this has been a hit, hard to come by. We're privileged to have it here at the market, um, and uh, I've fallen in love with it. I really have. Twenty fourth most popular beer in the yeah. United States. Yeah, Men's Health did a did a uh, uh, a poll, uh, beer a, a beer poll basically throughout the country, and of course that's a lot of votes that they received, hundreds and hundreds of thousands. And, this beer is uh, was in the top twenty four in the country out of any beer, and you can't beat says something. that. That absolutely says something right there. You notice me just getting a nose full of it there. I've got dark malty goodness just right off the bat. That's and, right. You know, just absolute malt, just backbone on this bad boy. I mean, it's it just malty, malty, roasted darkness. The, it's got almost the flavor, or I'm sorry, the aroma of a stout or a, or a porter, just like Dave was saying. Yeah. But there's just, it's, even on the aroma, it's like almost there's something missing just yeah. a little bit. But that's because it's a lager. Yeah. And you'll get a tiny bit of uh, black licorice or anise yeah. in there, yes. Uh, yes. which is pretty standard with this style. So it's really, this is dead on the money. You know, a lot of the American craft uh, folks, uh, and thank goodness, you know, they get crazy with the styles. It's kind of what we're about here in the U.S., but it's nice to uh, have something that's very traditional, so we all remember where it came from. And this is uh, this is as traditional and spot on as it gets. It's I'm it's telling you, great. I feel like I'm back in Germany. I really do. I've I've had dark lagers while I was in Germany. As a matter of fact, the dark lager that you could get just outside of Spangdahl am Base. Can't remember the name of the little restaurant. Hang a right, go around the circle. It's it's right there on the right. Mama's place or something like that. Can't remember the actual German name of it. You had beer. That's what I had lots a lot of beer. beer. They served a black lager at that particular restaurant. That was just the go-to because it was so close to the base. This make this takes me back, guys. This takes me back. Talk about a great uh, beer to pair with food. Oh, Stay no yeah. roast. Uh, you know, yes, yeah, as soon as I was drinking stews, it, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm not going through my head, and I'm like, barbecue. man, this is going to be so good to just sit down and sip this with a, a really nice meal. A yeah, big you know, New look. York strip and a baked potato is what they oh, call it. Yeah. Right right yeah. 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 Yes. yeah, that's what yeah. It. You get the strips and potato, I'll bring the beer. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I'm really at a loss for words here again because this is this is this tastes like a true German beer. I mean, you, you get that little bit of a bite from that, and that's really pretty much from the lager yeast is, is pretty much what I get it from. Right. It's, um, but it's not a, it's not a bad bite. No. And it's not, and it's not overpowering either. 
but the it's just the it's right on the finish i mean like right at the end you get that just a little bit on the side of your tongue other than that it is silky smooth i mean just like it's, it's very like silk very good. and look at the lacing on this bad boy i think amanda's going to uh try our sign again <laughs> every customer that we've had in since i've tapped this k they've all reacted just as we have yeah and these are a lot of these folks are ipa only, ipa only drinkers or wow. I don't really even like beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we had a couple ladies in today that that uh, um, aren't you know huge beer drinkers, but you know they're they're uh, willing to give it a try. And had uh, had a lady that had had maybe two beers in her lifetime, tried this, she's converted. There yes. we go. We did our job today. That's that's what we're all about, right Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Right? I like to hear the conversions. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Especially to everybody that says I hate beer. Right. I get that all the time. Yeah, I do. Big broad world the out there in the beer world. You know, I've said it before on this show. Give me a month, and yeah. I'll find you a beer that yeah. you like. So, yeah. and right here is one that I just about guarantee. I Most hate, of the I hate beer, but yet you beer. haven't tried. But but maybe right. a, a fraction of, of a tenth of the thousands of beers out there. Very diverse. <laughs> very very. Really, I mean, you can kind of match beer with you know a lot of times with folks. I'll kind of figure out what kind of food they want, you know, and I can go from there, but. This is a beer that will appeal to a lot of people. The stout porter drinkers will like it because of the malty, maltiness, roastiness. Oh, that the color, roast. that yeah. roast malt, the flavor. Man. That yeah. roast malt, it's just ugh, right there. Lager drinkers love will love it because it's a lager. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying and it. Everybody I, I love else my for that I'm, I'm really enjoying yeah. this. Yeah, really enjoying it. This yeah. is something else. I'm telling you, Sprecher, good on you for this one, guys. I mean, this is just absolutely freaking fantastic and something else they did this year that was amazing and i wish i had some and i think maybe we tried it they did a bourbon barrel aged root beer oh yeah we yes we yeah. had that yeah so these guys you know they know what's up yep absolutely as far as styles go i'm not going to give it a style rating because the only black loggers i've had was in germany and what at the point brought one out recently to the point brewery it was actually a black ale was that a black ale it's a black ale okay yeah. rogue does one called uh, uh deer Square black lager oh, okay which we'll have that on tap the market here within probably three or four weeks cool uh, we'll have to experience. definitely give that a try then. absolutely yeah. it's actually a little heavier body than this so it's worth definitely worth a try a style rating i'm just i can't give it one i've not had enough to Need judge to it against so yeah. But as far as the overall goes, four, nine and a half, guys, it's that good. It is that damn good. It yep. is. It, it is very good. I'm, I'm still right up there at, you know, at a solid nine on it because it is it is well worth it, It's well worth pouring into a glass. I mean, just even watch it pour into a glass, I would be happy for that right now. Amazing lacing. Yeah, I can't, do a, I can't do a style just because I haven't had enough experience. Uh, but this is absolutely... Uh, at least a nine for me. Uh, oh yeah, That's, nines across the board here. I mean, that what's that tell you? That tells you come out to the market yeah. and get some Sprecher Bavarian Black. I mean, straight up, it's delicious. It, it is, is absolutely delicious. It is very, very delicious. It's, I mean, yeah, that's kind of the hipster term going around for beers yeah, I, right now. It's maybe I'm, I'm figuring out why they say it. I guess. I'm telling you, that's delicious. That's <laughs> what that is. <laughs> that is absolutely delicious. And man, I cheers to Sprecher. Yes, cheers yes. to Sprecher. You guys are great. Yeah. Well, I'm Don. I'm Jason. I'm Dave BV. And I'm drinking. So that means he likes it a lot. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And some beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. Let's go drink some beer.